Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of Juice Food Reviews and today I've got another episode of Too Sweet. I was in my supermarket the other day and I was going back down the um, candy aisle and I was looking again for the, I had done earlier the Ghirardelli chocolate where I had the Cabernet and the Ra Raspberry Radiance and I went to see if they were on sale again and they weren't on sale and they didn't have the Cabernet one so I wasn't able to pick up another bar of that. I did like that one and maybe I'll have to look in a different store for it see if it's on sale there but I did come across some of these other ones that were on sale they were two for six dollars so that's like three dollars a piece and I don't know that I've ever seen these particular brand of chocolates before and I don't know anything about them other than they look kind of cool and apparently some of the proceeds from this actually go to some of the endangered species so I guess that was kind of cool and these were two of the flavors that I thought were kind of different and I thought I'd give them a try and these are from endangered species chocolate and the first one I got is called the endangered species chocolate natural dark chocolate with cinnamon cayenne and cherries and that's what that is and I guess this is a monkey some kind of endangered species actually says look inside about the tamarind I guess that's what that particular animal is it says that the uh, 10% of the proceeds go to protect the wildlife. And on this one, the calorie is 240 for half the bar. So half a bar is 240 calories. So that's on that one. And then I got another one, dark chocolate with blackberry and sage. And this one, I guess, is a falcon that... Uh, it's on the cover. It says looking falcon. And this one is the same 240 calories for half a bar. So this one was blackberry and sage. I thought that was a little bit different. So I'm going to go ahead and give these both a try. Kind of interested about this one because it says it has cayenne and cinnamon. So might be a little bit spicy. Not really sure. But I'm going to go ahead and open this up, just like Willy Wonka. <laughs> oh, this doesn't have, uh, doesn't have, it's got silver. It's got a silver wrapper. It doesn't have gold. So, let's look, take a look. Actually, it's kind of cool. Inside here, inside the wrapper, there's a whole, this, oh, this, I might keep this. It's kind of neat. On the inside of the wrapper, there's a whole story about this golden-headed lion tamarind. Some kind of, I don't know, monkey or primate or something. And it tells all about his habits and where he lives and a whole bunch of different things. And talks about this uh, preservation society, how to donate, a whole bunch of different things, how to help them, all everything about them. Talks about the monkey. A lot of different information, so it's kind of cool. The chocolate itself came wrapped in a silver wrapper, not a gold one. So there's no gold ticket in here, darn it. But this one does have, this is the cherry and cayenne and cinnamon. And here's what the bar looks like. The little pieces, I'm going to go ahead and snap off. A little bit of that, oh yeah. Snap into it, brother. Snapping into that little piece. So that's what I'm gonna try. This one little piece, and this has got the cinnamon, cayenne, and cherry. So I guess in here there is some kind of cherry, and this is dark chocolate, and it has 60% cacao, or cocoa, cacao. Anyway, that's what the content is. 
So, give this a try. Hmm. Wow. It's very dark. Hmm. Oh, wow. Oh. Hmm. I'm getting. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Wow. I'm getting a kick from that kain. Hmm. As the chocolate melts. Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. <coughs> A little bit of pepper on that. Wow. That's pretty intense. Ooh. The chocolate's good. Nice, dark, bitter. I can really feel that burn of day. Okay, I'm, I can't taste the cinnamon too much. And the cherry is just little bits of cherry. But I could really feel that burn from that. Can, okay, wow. That's got a kick. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Mmm. Okay. Ooh. Spicy. Very spicy chocolate. Mm. Not super hot, but mm. that has a kick. And then I'm, I'm tasting little chocolate bits. Mm. Wow. Mm. I get to the rating on that on the end. Ooh. Pretty intense. Wow. <laughs> okay. So I'm opening up the other one. And this is the one about the falcon. It's the same thing in the inside. All about the falcon, all about what the contents is chocolate bar supports wildlife. There's a whole bunch of stuff on here. Links. You can scan the code and go to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. They have a website, all the information that I can read later. The information this has got blackberry and sage, 60% cacao. So it's the same one, but it's in the silver foil. And it's the same little chocolate bar, the little pieces. And I'm going to snap off. A small section, and I'm gonna try one square. Yeah, brother. Okay, so I can smell the I can smell the blueberries on this one. I hope I don't turn into violet and blow up like a blueberry, and they'll have to wheel me off. But here we go. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah. Right away, I can taste that. Kind of blueberry, <laughs> not a sweet, kind of juicy flavor to it, and it does go well with the chocolate. That dark chocolate does have um, slight bitterness, and now I'm getting that. Hmm, I'm getting that sage in there. Just a little hint of sage. Mm. I don't know if I like the sage part of it. Yeah, kind of kills the blueberry. I know it's supposed to be a unique blend, but I don't think I like the sage part of it. It's a little too strong, and it tastes like you know, the sage herb. The blueberry part's good. Chocolate is chocolatey. I wish they would have left the sage out of it. It's okay. Um, 
Now, I don't think I'd get that particular flavor again. Just because the sage kind of overpowers it. And you only need a tiny bit of sage. It goes a long way. I could taste the blueberry, but that sage, that sage is just coming in there and kind of killing it. So, hmm. Yeah. Sounded like a good idea, but I don't think so. Hmm. Okay, so I'll go ahead and give a rating on these two. Now that I could um, kind of recover. I think I'll rate this one, this dark chocolate blackberry. Oh, it's blackberry, not blueberry. Okay. Well, they're similar, but yeah, I was tasting the blackberry flavor that part was good the sage kind of came in and kind of killed it so for that one I have 11 I would give that one a 4 out of 11 I hate to say it but the chocolate was good the blackberry was okay but that sage it kind of ruined it on this one so, I would think I would pass on that one, even though, you know, I like Falcons and all that, but not this one. So, that's only a four. Wasn't very good. Now, the one other one, the dark chocolate with cinnamon, cayenne, and cherries, that was actually pretty good. The chocolate was good. The cayenne... It was a little bit overpowering. It was a little bit of heat, but it was actually kind of a good heat. And once you died down and you were able to taste the chocolate, it wasn't bad. So on that one, um, I think I'll give that one a 10 out of 11. Just because I liked a little bit of heat it mixed well with the chocolate. And I like I like hot stuff. Not everybody likes it. I couldn't taste a lot of cinnamon in it, but it was pretty good. It did kind of wow me, but not like didn't blow me away. So this one was actually pretty good. I think I might get this again if I was in the mood for a little bit of chocolate with a little bit of zip. But you know. It's always different. It's always good to try. A little bit different flavors and these chocolates were pretty good so I might try them again they had a lot of different flavors out there they were um, nuts I think they were orange caramel milk chocolate dark chocolate all kinds of different flavors there was like a whole bunch of ones to pick from and I just kind of picked two that I thought would be the most interesting to try so that's my take on these two if you like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell. That way you won't miss any future content. So, till next time on Drew's Food Reviews, I will talk to you later.